Wake County Commissioners, along with county staff and citizens, were on hand for the official dedication and opening of the Robertson Mill Pond Preserve in eastern Wake County, which is one of the latest properties that will provide public access to the county-managed open space. The property will also offer recreational activities, including canoeing and kayaking. Robertson Mill Pond was one of the first properties identified by Open Space Program for protection due to its unusual blackwater cypress habitat more common to eastern North Carolina. The total cost of the 84.6 acre property purchased in September of 2013 was a little over $1 million. Since 2000, Wake County voters have approved $91 million in open space bonds. With these funds, the county has preserved or helped preserve over 120 properties, totaling more than 5,400 acres. Robertson Mill Pond has been very important to this community for a long time. This is considered part of Wendell, although it's actually in the county's jurisdiction. And uh, to preserve something that is this beautiful uh, for many years to come is going to be very important. It's going to be exciting. I know that they're going to want to get out here right away. Um, and we hope that we can work with them and uh, make sure that people are aware of this facility and can enjoy it on the weekends. Once I went to work with the town of Wendell and started working with Wake County, I found out that there was a much bigger plan for this beautiful site. Um, I was fortunate enough to work with Wake County staff and to recognize how special this area was. And so uh, I've been very fortunate to be a part of this. For, and I've been, again, now with, uh, I've lived in Wake County for about 30 years. And I've been working with the town now about 20. It was awesome. We saw like birds, like we saw wood ducks, and they flew away and their call was pretty cool. When we went out into the canoe, we saw some Spanish moss, and that was really cool because they're not usually here in this part of North Carolina. And the canoe trip was really cool because there's a whole trail, and when we got to 16, there was this giant open pond where there was tree, all the trees surrounding us. And that was pretty cool because we could see the sky, but we could also see all the trees, with the moss, and, the, um, and all the trees sticking out from growing from the pond. Ed Gerke, the property's owner, said in a statement, my family has owned Robertson's Mill Pond since the early 1900s when my great-grandfather, Charlie Robertson, purchased the property to operate a grist mill. My grandfather spent his later years fishing in the pond almost every day. The property is quite unique for this area of the state. When paddling up in the pond, you feel far away from the hustle and bustle of the city. It is very peaceful. We hope the public can now enjoy the pond and its natural beauty. We're pleased that Wake County now owns the property and will preserve it in its natural state. It, it's crucially important for the towns and the county to work together so that we can have the benefit of the funding that the county can provide. Small towns can't fund projects like this and they're for the benefit of the county, for the, all the residents of Wake County. And so we need their help and their expertise. We don't have on staff the kinds of people that we heard from today that can do this kind of thing for us. So that's why it's important. Oh, I think it's gonna be a wonderful opportunity for our residents. I hope that they will come out here. I hope that they'll come and see what it looks like and experience the, how beautiful it is. It's a wonderful opportunity. It's like a little hidden treasure that I, I hope people find out about. When we return, we'll tell you what's being done to preserve some of the county's most historical buildings.